Marling's house. You want to stay away from that couple. The woods aren't really safe after dark. Why? Is that when the monsters come out or something? When the sun rises, the werewolf sheds its skin. If someone finds us skin and destroys it before the next full moon is at its highest point, the curse is over. And the werewolf inside the person dies. What were you doing out in the woods? Just taking some pictures. And what did we say about the Marlings? Ask your nephew. He's the one holding the Ibex. It was the Marlings. What about them? They came over for a little visit last night. And guess what? They're werewolves. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. And how do you explain this? Uh, well, I... It must have been a bear or something, a, 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 a rabbit fox. A rabbit fox? It wasn't a fox. I saw it. It was part animal, part human. It, it had fangs and, and claws and pointy ears. Sorry, but that's a werewolf. And I said the woods weren't safe, and now I know why. Oh, you've been talking to Hannah. Alex, Hannah's older brother was bitten by a wolf a year ago, right out behind the Marlings. The wolf was never caught, but Hannah has spent days out there trying to find it. Yeah, that's why we locked you in. We couldn't risk having you wandering around in the woods. Or bothering the Marlings. Oh, right. Let's be polite to the werewolves next door. The Marlings are werewolves? Are you sure? I should be. They were trying to get in my window. That's weird. Werewolves don't usually climb. Oh, yeah. And how many werewolves have you seen? Lots of them. Excuse me? In the woods. That's what I've been trying to warn you about. I didn't tell you at first, because I was afraid you wouldn't believe me. That's why my brother ran away. He tried to tell people what he saw, but they wouldn't listen. Nobody believed him. Hannah, I believe you. I guess I've always been around. They used to be able to hide in the woods, you know, get food and stuff. Except now, with all the trees being chopped down, and the city's taking up so much space, there's no room for them. They've got to go someplace. That must be what my aunt was talking about. She said they were working on some kind of secret project. They must be taking pictures of werewolves for the government. You know, some kind of bizarro X-Files thing. So what are you going to do now? Well, first, I'm going to forget about the Chiller Magazine contest. <laughs> good idea. This is too good for them. I'm going big time. Newsweek. No, people. No, even better, national exposure. Alex, no! <laughs> What happened to you last night? We waited for an hour out there. Arjun almost got eaten alive by mosquitoes. Yeah, they like my blood. I didn't have to go to the woods to see any werewolves. They came to me. What? Uh-huh, right up to my house. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. OK, I'll prove it to you. Tonight, meet me at the Marling house. Midnight. That is, if you're not chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Alex Blackwell, I was just wondering, how much would you pay for a picture of a real werewolf?
told me what happened. She said you were coming back out here again tonight. Huh? I couldn't let you face the werewolves alone. You believe in the werewolves? Of course I do, Alex. I have to. Why? That's it. No more chocolate bars before bed. No picture, no money, no cover, nothing. Oh, no. Aunt Marta? Uncle Colin? No! or something. Or something. <laughs> Morning, Alex. French toast? Um... I'm not really hungry. Well, come on, Chief. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Okay. We'll take a seat then. Right. Sit. How did you sleep last night? Fine. Why? Well, the bed in the guest room is pretty hard. We could get you a new mattress if you want. No, it's fine. The mattress is fine. I like that mattress. I, I love that mattress. <laughs> you aren't eating? Uh, no, thanks. We had a bite. We had a bite. We had a bite last night. Enjoying school? School? Yeah. I'm gonna be late for school. See ya. Late? It's seven o'clock. So there really is no couple called the Marlings? No, my aunt and uncle just made them up. They pretend someone lives there, but it's just an empty house. A place for them to keep their rules. Guys. It's just up here. Where? It was right here. Their Jeep, all their stuff. It was torn apart. Alex, I just thought of something. How, what if some night they turn into werewolves and come into your room and tear you apart? I think that's why they locked me in. They're not doing it to trap me. It's to keep themselves out. They're trying to protect me. 
There's got to be some way to break this curse. They're my aunt and uncle. I gotta help them. Yeah. But how? Alex. Uh, um, may I speak with you for a moment, please? Um, I hope our little talk yesterday didn't scare you off living here in Wolf Creek. About the werewolves? Mm -hmm. See, I, I'm afraid Sean has a rather overactive imagination. Unfortunately, it's the only thing about him that is. What if it was true? What if there really was a werewolf and it was someone you knew? What would you do? Well, I don't know. Um, but we're, we're never going to have to find out about that, are we? And werewolves are just legends, aren't they? Well, I, I gotta go. I, I, my aunt's making pizza waffles, and she hates it when I'm late. Alex, be very careful. Sometimes legends bite. It's not. It'll never be over, Alex. Never. Hannah? Hannah, where are you going? Oh. Change your mind? <sighs> okay, who's out there? Man, 
you should have seen your face. Yeah, your face. You guys better get out of here. Why? Afraid your werewolf's gonna get us? You don't really think we believe in that junk, do you? Yeah, <laughs> do ya? But it's true. The legend is true. Sure. You want a werewolf? I got your werewolf right here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> like looking at trees. <sighs> nothing, nothing, nothing. All that and I still didn't get a decent shot for the chiller magazine. Well, maybe next time. Next time? I hope not.